This next one comes from Tingling, and it is, what is the worst sunburn y'all ever gotten? Uh, I do vividly I, remember mine. Um, me too. I think I, you don't forget those. No, you don't forget them. Mine was in Cancun when I was younger for like mm-hmm. a, a spring break trip with my family, and it was one of those that like it's all over your body, and I could barely like walk. And I had to get, like, the whole aloe situation. I think the worst part the is when it's, situation. like, peeling and you look like a reptile. Well, it's itchy. It's just itchy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it, yeah. one thing that a couple of times I've done recently is um, my dad has this uh, – he's not, like, a skin doctor, but he's, like, a different kind of doctor. Yeah. Uh, he's a gastroenterologist, so he, it's, like, digestive system. But okay. he knows, like, medical stuff. And he's, like – I was reading studies, and he's, like, if right after you have a ton of sun exposure – if before it like gets into a sunburn, if you like take a massive dose of vitamin D, it can help like make it not as bad. Oh. So he has these weird wafers that are like a hundred days worth of vitamin D that you just take a massive dose of because vitamin D is almost impossible to overdose on. Yeah, yeah. Like if you took one of those wafers every day, you would die. Right. Uh, <laughs> but if you just do it once, like you know, like every few months, you'd be okay. Um, this is not medical advice. Mm-hmm. I'm just. This is more of an anecdote. Uh, just to be clear, do not take massive doses of vitamin D without consulting your medical professional. Yeah. Uh, I just imagine us getting sued. It's like, yeah, Jeff told me to take a massive dose of vitamin D. <laughs> Kill like half our. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that that would be terrible. Uh, but um, yeah. So I I I don't know if that has helped or not because you can't prove a negative, right? I don't know how bad things would have gone without it. But anyways, that's an that's just more of a an aside. Uh, my actual story of my worst sunburn was when I was doing archaeology in Anagua in the Bahamas. Oh, uh, that's... there was like one because that's a rocky island, but there's one man-made beach that mm-hmm. we all went to, and I didn't wear sunscreen for literally thirty to forty minutes, right? Because I just was like, oh, okay, it shouldn't matter for that much, and then I'll go back inside because I was only gonna be out for that long. Mm-hmm. Um, Anagua is an island that is mostly like everyone works for the Morton Salt Company. Yeah. Uh, because they use the entire island as salt flats because the uv index is four times that of florida um so what happened was i was on the beach for 30 40 minutes come back later my skin on my shoulders is bubbling that's not it was bad (laughs) you were were boiling (laughs) i my skin was literally bubbling up sorry that's not funny i was like that's yeah that's not nothing funny about Um, bubbles in your skin yeah so that hurt uh a lot for a couple days you just and i actually you know what never mind i'm not gonna say what i was gonna say um that sucks i'm very sorry sound like you're laughing (laughs) (laughs) i'm just saying like i you seem like someone who has had a bad sunburn story i don't know how oh Oh, yeah (laughs) i just you give off that energy (laughs) I'm just, I'm not surprised by this, but I'm very, yeah. like, was it okay? Like, how did you, did you just. Yeah, it, it ended up being fine after a, a few days. Yeah. 